let, let's just compare those old traditional American interventions with the ones that have been going on since 2002, maybe arguably since 2001, depending on how you look at the early Afghanistan campaign. Now, it's just Americans slaughtering people. With no obvious strategic goal, without clearly having been wanted there by the world or by the locals, Syria, uh, Iraq, Yemen, Libya, these places just all went from bad to worse. And the Americans don't seem to have learned the lesson. They, they, they keep wanting to, to go to more of these places where they're not wanted. This is different. This is, this is new in modern America. It, 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 it harks back to the kind of thing that Americans did when they were genociding the Indians and when they were occupying the Philippines. So when someone like me is, is uh, condemning uh, American military activity, you've got to remember this is coming from someone, this is not coming from a peacenik. This is coming from someone who is a U.S. foreign policy tolerator traditionally, or even in the, in the past I was a supporter. I think that was probably going too far. But again, someone once said that the, the, the reason... You know, pe people needed to hear somebody say the Iraq war was wrong who was not Michael Moore. And Ron Paul became that voice. Now, well, I'm not Ron Paul, and I don't have a particularly well-listened-to voice, but at least I can be... I can remind those who are listening that it's not just hippies who have a problem with killing bystanders. We're all supposed to be against that. Everyone from the president all the way down to the slowest private of the United States military is officially against that, even if they may act differently. And that is what the federal government is going out and doing. They're going out and gunning down bystanders for no particular reason. I mean, if you're lucky, most of them don't even get a chance to be targeted in a gun sight. They get bombed or starved as a result of Americans, you know, redoing the whole Cambodian killing fields thing. I mean, this ISIS business was all just a replay of that, basically. basically if you look at the American intervention in Cambodia in 1972, roughly, destabilized the country so much that it descended into this sort of communist tyranny. Same, same thing with American intervention in the Middle East, destabilized so many places that they sank into the Islamicist tyranny. This stuff is supposed to be the exception in modern American foreign policy. And if you've got people like me turning against it, that means, I hope, that it's unsustainable. Are you a liberty activist willing to be on the front line against socialism? Freekeen.com would like you to consider moving here to Keene. While Keen may have the largest number of liberty-oriented media outlets in the entire state of New Hampshire, there's still a need for more activists. Can you help them? Visit FreeKeen.com to see what's happening. FreeKeen.com hooks you up with all the liberty media in town. Join the Keen Liberty Activists and help free the beautiful city of Keene, New Hampshire. From the clutches of the government. Freekeen.com